Hey guys, so I am about to cut some ribbon for a tutu order I received. One of my Tutti Frutti shirts um, paired with a fuchsia, like a darker pink tutu with all these colors on the end. One of my most popular. So I thought I would just take you through the process of how I cut my ribbon. Um, down in the description, I will leave the links to the places that I order ribbon from if you would like to order these specific colors. And this is what I do. So I get my ribbon out here. I like to buy these big, huge rolls um, because they last a lot longer. If you buy the smaller ones from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or whatever, they work, but you are going to be spending a lot more and you're gonna have to make a lot more trips where these I like to buy these nice big rolls that last a while. So I put my roll like this. It's pretty, it's, you know, where the ribbon is upside down, it curls up. Take a dowel rod. Is that what it's called? Dowel, dowel rod. I go like this. I put it behind these two, let's see if I can show these, these two, things here that I have a bunch of stuff in, junk that probably should be thrown away, but you know. And I put it behind it, and then I push it up against the wall so that my ribbon, um, and I'll see if I can, there we go. And I push it up against the wall so that it is nice and um, stable. I take it. A 12 inch ruler so when you are making tutus your tool will be six inches um, the width so you want your ribbon to be six inches sorry it's a messed up piece on the end so you want your ribbon to be um, six inches cut so what I do is I take a 12 inch ruler and I am going to start wrapping now I know my pink Um, I'm going to need, I've already done all the math, but I'm going to need um, 54, 54 pieces of ribbon each. And so when I wrap it around once, I'm getting four pieces um, because you're getting a six inch, six inch, six inch, and a six inch. So what I do is I figure out how many pieces I'm going to need and how many times I will need to wrap it around. And what I like to do is I only wrap it around 10 times. The reason is it will get too thick and it will get too hard to cut and then your pieces will be uneven. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go ahead and cut just like so. I'm gonna take my clip off. I am going to pull it off of the side so that it makes it a little bit easier to cut. I'm just gonna keep the tension in it so it stays nice and firm. Insert my scissors, the nice sharp pair of scissors. You're gonna cut that end. You're gonna come on this end. You can, however you find it easier. I've tried several different ways. This is just the easiest for me personally. Um, but you find your own way. You start out by doing it somebody else's way and then eventually you find what works for you. So I've wrapped it around 10 times. This will um, give me 40 pieces of ribbon. So I cut the two ends and then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna fold it in half and I am going to cut these and these are the exact size that I need. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay. 
I just want to make sure everything is lined up nice. There we go. Hold them over. Do a little snippy snip. So here we have 40 pieces. Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and cut another round. And even though I only need 54 pieces, I'm just going to keep cutting. Um, I'm just going to go to 10 because I can always use the extra for another. Um, for another two tubes. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Snip a snip. Snip a snip again. Other side. Pull them apart, fold, another section, and then my last section of pinks. And there we go. Just like that, I have 80 pieces of my pink, which is more than enough um, because I only needed 54 for this particular tutu. So my pinks are done. So what I'll do is I will move on to my next color, which is orange. trims of the tutu. So now what you're going to do is you want to singe, you want to burn the ends, singe them so that they don't fray ever and they stay nice and solid. So I buy this Camping Green Wick. I will leave a link for this in the description. And you're just going to get a lighter burn. And I have tried several different ways to singe um, the ends and this for me personally has been the easiest. I've tried soldering iron, this took way too long. I tried using just a lighter, again way too long. Um, and then my husband actually came up with, hey let's try this and see if this works. And it worked. So this for me personally is the easiest and quickest, the most efficient way um, to burn so many. Like if, if you didn't have so many, I do have, you know, a soldering iron that I use when I'm making hair bows and I just need to cut, you know, less than 20, then it's easy to use that. 
um, or if I just um, have a few to do, I'll use my lighter, easy peasy, but when it comes to, you know, you're doing 300 plus per tutu, you're gonna want something that is simple, fast, effective, and just efficient. So this has been the easiest that I have found personally. So I'm gonna go through and burn all the edges. all of my ribbon now so I will um, cut my tool and then I will be sewing these on and attaching them to the waistband and sending out the tutu so I will be doing more tutorials but for now this was how I cut and burn the ribbon um, subscribe like this video and I hope they can help you. If you have any questions, please just ask. I'll put all my links in the description.